couldn't get over the colours, the, the purple. Absolutely electric blue. Um, you know, even bluer than that. The, the coral. Beautiful. As, as, as if it's painted. It was unbelievable. I haven't even seen it like that in the British Virgin Islands. There was just so many shades and turquoise and pinks, lavenders, mauve. God, and all the parrotfish. Oh yeah, we saw lots of different things, all the beautiful blue coral and yellow and yeah, I thought it was beautiful. Yeah, so I had a great day. All of them were divers and went on three different dives and we dove on a lot of places around the world and it was excellent. Yeah, great really coral, nice, and nice colours. Reef colors uh, leaf, reef was fairly alive you know there's a bit of issues with some warm water going now but it's beautiful and uh, uh, we saw lots of lots of fish life and the coral and the colors were fantastic yeah. and uh, we really had a great day yeah, and, we and what really made it special was the crew yeah. awesome crew really really good people so we had fun very hospitable fun. great lunch great food yeah. and we'd come back again right? yeah definitely we're coming back out the marine life I think is really great um, and the corals are quite still looking really good so yeah, I was quite happy with it. It was awesome. Um, the water was clear. You could see all the coral. The instructors were very protecting of the coral, which was good as well. Um, yeah, it was just a really good day. Awesome day. A beautiful, entertaining, exciting. And I saw three sharks, so that was a little dream come, came true. So that was nice. And what did you think of the rape? Yeah, it was good. It was good as the movies when you see like Finn Nemo and such, so it's, uh, it's fun. And, yeah, beautiful. We've been on a helicopter flight and flew over the... It was just stunning, beautiful, really lovely. Well, coral bleaching is a stress response by corals. Uh, corals live in a really narrow band of physical parameters. They don't like it when it gets too hot, they don't like it when it gets too cold, they don't like it if it gets too salty, nor if it isn't salty enough. So whenever one of those parameters changes and stays changed for a period of time, the coral stress. And when coral stress, the first thing they do is they expel the little algal plants that are living in the tissues. These are called Suzanthellae. When they expel those, they're basically jellyfish corals, so they go transparent and suddenly the calcium carbonate skeleton is visible through the transparent tissues, so they look white. Um, and they can stay stressed like that for a period of time, but if the, the conditions stay too long, then that's when they will actually start to die because they starve to death. It's the little algal plants which are supplying the corals with the, uh, the necessary energy for uh, growth, reproduction, etc. So without those algal plants, they effectively starve to death. And what causes coral bleaching? Well, there's a variety of things will coral, cause coral bleaching. There's, uh, as I say, an increased decrease in salinity. So you're going to get a decrease in salinity if you have an excessive amount of fresh water coming onto the reef, uh, so big runoffs. Uh, the main one is temperature, uh, either too cold or too hot, and it's usually too hot. With the increasing sea surface temperatures, that brings the temperature above the threshold of about 29.5, so once it gets to about 30 degrees uh, C in the water, then it, it tends to be the threshold for coral for corks to bleach. So what we're seeing now at the end of March is a slight drop in the average water temperature. Now hopefully at this time of the year the water temperature will continue to drop and if it does then we can breathe a great sigh of relief, the, the corals will go back to photosynthesizing and hopefully we'll get through this bleaching event with very little mortality. That's what we're hoping for. The, the Great Barrier Reef is a massive reef system, 2,500 kilometres long and it's obviously warmer up the, the northern end and the uh, media reports which just recently highlighted 95% coral bleaching, those were focused predominantly on the northern, far northern section of the Great Barrier Reef uh, Marine Park. So uh, around about the Lizard Island, Cooktown area is, is where they're seeing the, the most extreme bleaching. We're on the southern end of that, so we're seeing bleaching that's a lot patchier than, uh, than we would expect to see up there. So the bleaching event we had back in 98 was a serious bleaching event. But because it was a fairly short bleaching event, the reef was able to bounce back really well. I mean, we had very little mortality. Major bleaching, but very little mortality. And that's the important thing. So this reef has been really robust and very healthy for a, a long time. Last November, we were out for coral spawning. 
great coral spawning, very healthy coral spawning. It was great to be in the water and see the coral spawning this last uh, November. Um, so what we're hoping now, of course, is that uh, all those new coral larvae have started to grow and that this bleaching event, we will get past this. And because this reef was so healthy going into this bleaching event, there's a very good chance that if the water continues to cool off, as it is now coming to the end of March, beginning of April, hopefully those water temperatures will continue to drop and this reef will come back to uh, as beautiful as it was last year. It's once the temperature stabilizes and actually starts to drop again, then the corals can repopulate themselves with these algal plants, go back to the algal photosynthesize, produce the necessary energy for the corals, and they can continue to grow uh, after that. So it's, bleaching is not necessarily a death sentence for the corals. So the reef can recover? The reef definitely can recover. We need, the, need a, a nice sort of cool spell of weather now, because uh, we're getting to the, the sort of critical period now where we need a change of weather, some nice southeasterlies with a bit of cloud cover would be nice.